Yeah, I got this little train here and it cost uh, £6.50 and it was on eBay and what's really good is it's still running but let's evaluate some of the damage on it and see what we can do. Yeah, hi there again. It's Willie D um, restoration, uh, restoration shop or restoration man or whatever you want to call me. Now I'm in London at this moment, at this time, and kind of arrived in this apartment in a reno stage. So I just have just arrived and I made a kind of a makeshift table on some boxes. And I purchased on eBay a little uh, train with a little cart. It was only £6.50 and we're going to evaluate this quickly and then we'll get right to it and we'll repair it. Yeah, so here we have the train and as you can see in the front we have a very damaged chimney and an indentation in the half round here which has caused this. It's pushed in and maybe if you look at it this way there you'll see the dent and we're going to have to get that out somehow. We'll tap it out. So that's one of the problems I can see right now. Now on the bottom's not too bad. A little straightening here on, wait, let me get it there, on this. But nothing big, the flat nose pliers wouldn't do. But in the back here we have quite a bit of problems. We have the lead weight falling out. And we have, these corners are bent. Now down here in the cab it's quite bent. And I've noticed there's tabs missing. Now when you look underneath there is no tabs so we're going to have to put a plate or something in there and solder on to make that work. And on the other end I have one tab at the moment which I put in. It's kind of loose but what's good is it is running which is a great bonus. You know even the motor for £6.50 is worth it. So what I'm just going to do is take a flat nose pliers here and start straightening these out very gently. Just a small lift and then have a look at it again. Now as you can see on this post here it's crooked. Now you want to straighten that post out first. Everything starts shaping up on, tin, on its kind of own. If you just allow it, it starts shaping up and coming back to life, right? As you can see, I'm just tweaking this slowly and I'll just pull this up a little bit more very gently. I don't want to be losing too much of the paintwork in that. I want to kind of keep this quite genuine so I'll just keep straightening a little and I'll mostly take these tabs out and take it apart and we'll see what we got. Yes, yeah, so I've got it quite a bit apart. I don't have to do anything to the engine because I have it wound here and when you drop this lever down, oop, oop, get my fingers out of the way. There she goes, it's running very well. Now this, better run out. This lever needs a little straightening, but otherwise there's a little wobble here, but I would leave that. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of oil, thin oil. Leave her be because she's running perfectly. Why mess with something when it's running good? I'm going to take the cap off the front here and see if I can maneuver this back up to being half round again. It shouldn't take much and you can see the indentation right in here. It's very bad. So I'll just see what I can do with it. Yeah, so I have it apart now and you can see here the dent here. And you know, we'll just do gentle with these pliers. First, very gentle. And it is coming out, and maybe take it by the crease and bend it up a little, like that. Yes, that's coming nicely. And as you can see, it's beginning to shape already. So it doesn't take much. And you want to be very careful not to damage the paint too much very lightly with a very clean clean pliers without any grips inside it. You can even put a bit of masking tape in here to protect it which I'm going to do now actually. So I put a little tape inside the pliers and now 
we can get this to be nearly exactly the way it was. Now I quite like that. The chimney has to be straightened a bit more, but it is beginning to look up, everything is. Yeah, this tab is bent in that, I've got to straighten this tab a little. Now look at a, how much we've already improved that within five minutes, ten minutes. Without a big, you know, song and dance, and one pliers only. No, no, no tapping or anything. I might get it a little tighter up in here, as you can see that little gap here. Otherwise she's shaping up nicely. It's going to be a nice little train again. So it's fitting really nicely and I bought, got this in a little kit in France and Bézier. It was a watchmaker's little kit for six euros and I got some of the tools. I thought they were kind of neat. And you know what? It's coming very handy because there's a nylon side there that you can tap these things in. Now I think we're going to fold this tab back. Oops, sorry. I get back. I do that sometimes. Fold this tab back in. to the train nice and tight and the same on this side they used to make these trains lovely you know I'm just bending the tab a little first so it's already taking place and then we give it a little now we're getting a really nice shape here as you can see and I'll just tap lightly on the, with the nylon, this in, and all we got to do is get our chimney kind of lined up a bit, and there we go. You know, a little bit of quirkiness is okay. You know, even if I left this a little quirky, it's okay. It's an old train. Yeah, buy one of these pliers. They're smooth, flat-nosed, and they're lovely and straight. You might pay a little bit extra, but when you're doing little corners like this. You can put these pliers in here, line it up on the tin, and just bingo. Little twists. Right, here we go again. Little twist here and there, and you can see how bad that looks right there. And then you just take it along the straight line like this. And you just straighten her up. And look at the difference already, two seconds. No fancy stuff, just simple, practical solutions. And we'll just straighten a little bit more. This here is a little bit off. Sometimes you can actually shape by hand a little bit, which is really nice. Can you get the old kind of half round again? Manipulate it a bit. Now that looks straight. That looks quite good, doesn't it? Isn't that a big change from what it was? Yeah, so I've got on quite well, and as you can see, the chimney's on, and I've straightened these rods out a little, and this is much more flush, no more indentation here, as you can see, hang on, let me turn it around so you can see, there you go, that's all working, now I've taken a little while trying to get the cab straight, and I got the motor basically in again. The tabs all straight. Once you straighten everything out, it's like a factory. Like when it was factory built, it all just falls together. But the only thing I'm missing is now is when you insert it here, there's two tabs on this side missing here, on this one. And on this side, you can see I got the front tab. All, I got this front tab right there. But I don't have this slanted up tab. I have to put something in behind here to make a tab. So this all holds in nice and strong and basically the engine will be complete. So I'll just try to work out how to make some tabs.
figure it out tomorrow most likely and show you what I do. So I had, remember the train and the tabs were broke, but luckily, real luck, up on eBay popped another one very similar. It's darker in color and it's got more damage on the can, on the outside, but the tabs are in place for this insert. Remember they were broken? So what I'm going to do is take all the good parts and put it onto this to make this original. And then all the bad parts are going to go onto this dark train here. And it's also missing a wheel, which I'll have to find somewhere, but the motor's working. So basically this is going to be my restoration with parts, and this is going to be my original, which is going to look really nice. So that's where I stand at the moment, I'm just going to put the original together. Yeah, so here's the original completed, and it turned out really nice, and as you can see, she runs, and um, I'll just show you the engine, there she is running, spinning away, got her unwind a bit, isn't that lovely? Okay, I'll do a little closer so you can see the finishing. So there it is, complete, right, right, all straightened up, remember we were straightening the cab in the very beginning, and like totally original, right, so there's one of them done, one of the engines, very nice, very pleased with it, might clean the little um, key a little bit more, get a little bit more rust off, but basically we're done. You don't want to make it too new, look, it's got to look old still and original. Yeah, just to show, I did polish the key with a little bit of brillo a little bit, so that it's a little bit better, not so rusty feeling. It still has rust on it, so. And I've washed the wheels inside the hubs a bit, to clean them up, and just gave the, the whole thing a wash quickly. And I straightened the cab a little bit more, so that it's equal on both sides, and you know, now, I have my original Hornby and I'm really happy with it. I'm just going to let it stand and enjoy. And we're going to carry on with the other one that's broken up now. And see, what, let's get this one out of the way. We're going to see what we can do with this broken up one now and the parts and see if we can make something out of it. The first thing I do is just straighten this and put it in. And then you know, into this area here again and we'll see where we'll go from there.